Hello everybody, Sift here again with another Backpack Bounce Run and today I'm going to be doing the Vampire build with the good old uh, Reaper. So let's do it, they buffed it like crazy, let's see if it's strong enough or if it's still trash. It used to be trash. Let's go bananas. Uh, <laughs> let's get a banana that is here and I also find a garlic, might as well buy that. May wooden sword plus a food build most of the time gives you free wins, inventory space and also the early game obviously. And definitely a hammer because let's not forget hammer is the best weapon early game in my opinion. <laughs> And uh, also, it uh, combos with daggers, because I'm most likely gonna go daggers, so it really fits. That is the idea here. We should be winning this fight, as I have a triple food build. They have a single food build. We also have poison on our side. Like, this should be a win overall. Also, the garlic should be up there. This is not min-max right now. But it's okay. We still won. Could have lost easily. Let's go. I'm gonna go inventory space first and foremost, and then we're gonna go... Um, power up and then we're gonna go power up even more and of course let's actually min max as i previously mentioned i would like this to be like that and money is gonna be lost here but it's okay we're gonna get the shield and then we're gonna wait 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 no yeah we're gonna sell and we're gonna next turn we're gonna sell the wooden sword bring in the hammer and then we're gonna be in mid game pretty much i guess early game not mid game right now we're still in early game but we don't have early game build we have a wooden sword, they have a broom theoretically we should be winning they have double weapon a double food and we have triple food we have four items in the zone. Yeah, we're winning poison fight. We're winning all the fights here. Very nice. We got our spikes build going on early. So that should also give us a couple of wins through defense. Buy this. Sell this. Roll into inventory. Very nice. And uh, this does not fit theoretically. But practically, practically, it does fit. No, I'm kidding. It does not really fit. <laughs> I guess practically it does fit. And once again, the piggy bank stays outside. We're losing a lot of money on the piggy bank play, uh, but it's okay. Let's go on. We should be still winning because now I have a hammer and hammer just hammer slammers. Up. Oh, got an N694. <coughs> so is this a hammer slammer copying sift build? 24 crit. What? We're going to lose because of that crit, obviously. They had a 16% chance to crit us, and we're gonna get double credit here, because luck is with us sometimes. Ooh, we did not, and we should be winning nice, because poison is better than not. We found an early Tim, unbelievable. So on hit, 50% chance to steal a random buff, or 3% chance to resist buffs or criticals, or opponent drops below half health, heal for 50, and gain 5 in power. This is gonna give us free wins. Uh, this gets bought, I don't know. We're going for the stealing of buffs right now. Yep, and uh, let's continue. This is a bit weird as the way this is going as of this moment, but it's okay. I would like to have this in the inventory, by the way, but it is what it is as of this. Yeah, right now, I don't know. Another hammer build, but this time also with a spear. Come on, give us enough spikes so that the spear kills you. That's the plan here. Let the spear take the man away from the hammer, and then you die because of your mistake. Perfect, perfect, perfect play on the opponent's side. Good job, Dio. Can you get it? Let's go. Uh, for some reason, I, my heart dropped. I thought we just lost the... Uh, oh, we found the weapon of choice, by the way. Angry Blade is the weapon of choice. So uh, I'm going to transfer my build around now. Although Hammer is good for money here. Actually, you know what? We will buy this. And we also will buy the banana because I need energy. For now, we're going to buy this. And also, I'm gonna, I want to slam Hammer the Piggy. That's it. I'm going to play with Tim on the backpack. The idea being that uh, if opponent drops below 30 health, we instantly win the fight. And we might go into fatigue. So this is an instant fatigue win. That's the idea here. It's a double axe build, so they're gonna scale like crazy. So we need to destroy them. Uh, they resisted the poison, what? Uh, okay, I guess. Uh, we need to get them down to, I think, 30 life. 32. One more, come on. One more slammer. Poison, go. Tim gave us the win. Easy enough. Easy enough, Tim gave us a win there. Very nice. I was extremely lucky with Tim, by the way. Nice. And we found inventory space. We found even a dagger for the bloody dagger. Let's sell a bunch of coins. And now I would say let's sell the hammer. I'm going full on into the build. The hammer is good and all, but we're going into the build now. So let's go here. Vampirism is the play of the name of the game. Chance to steal buffs. You know what? For now, we're still going to go with the idea that fatigue might be a loss for our end. Let's go inventory. Let's go daggeroni. Let's go banana because energy is going to be an issue later down the path. Trust me. And uh, ooh, I'm going to get healing herb because first of all, it's cheap. And secondly, it is part of the build. Customer card not really roll them. And we found attack speed. So attack speed joins. And here, I think the time has come for me to explain what the build is going to be. Roll them and find the mana stone. Perfect. This is literally the build. So, the idea of the build is the following. We want to get, I would say, two mana orbs, if not three. And then also two hungry blades, if not three. And then I would say three, four, five, maybe vampire daggers. So that is literally part of the build. Everything else we just want to find. I mean, if I find five, four, when I mean four, five daggers, I mean, obviously mean the blood daggers. So I also need to find the blood stones, as many daggers I get. That's it. That's the build. So let's hope for the best. 
And uh, once again, I'm gonna start explaining stuff. So Hungry Blade says, start with battle, gain one vampirism, and on hit, use one regen to gain one vampirism. And I have two regen here, so right now this is gonna give us three vampirism. That is it. Let's go. Tim hopefully is gonna carry us through this. I should have been maxed. This was a mistake, and this is a poison fight. We're gonna lose this one. Yeah, we're gonna lose the poison fight, and I didn't even max correctly. So uh, my mistake, my bad. And we do have vampirism here that should save us. If they hit 4D life, we win. But I need them to hit 4D life, otherwise... Uh, actually, 3D life, I think. Come on, come on! Yes, Tim. Tim is back in the game. We won. <laughs> we won through Tim, and I had... Well, 3D poison on us. We won through Tim. Insane. Insane. I found a bloody amulet. Insane, insane, insane. This is this is going perfect. This is... We're gold rolling here. Uh, mana orb or blood amulet is the question. I think blood amulet is what I should go for. Lock this, lock this, and this is still locked. And I still keep Tim where it is. I think I should also do that. Very nice. So we continue the min-max idea. And I would also like to do this. Yeah, now we're actually completely min-maxed. I mean, the, the spike shield definitely should somehow go in there, but right now it doesn't fit. But anyway, we have everything inside the zone. We now should be happy. And we should not lose against a similar build again. Throwing weapons here. Should have maybe... At this point, I guess Tim should go on the weapon. Uh, I'm still hoping for the plus 50 health and 5 empower to carry us. This time is going to happen at 40 life. So if opponent sits 40 life here, this is 30% right. I guess 3D life, 3D5 life or something. And here it goes. Tim activated 5 and power. Easy enough. Yeah, easy enough. We're getting free wins from Tim and also Vampirism, of course. And here's the new lock lifter. This is the most busted. Not most busted. <laughs> this got buffed like crazy. So start of battle gain from Vampirism. I think it used to be 2. And then weapon steal 20% life. Increased by 8% of Vampiric Item, the pair of Vampiric Item with the triangle thing. So it can ha it can boost up to 5 weapons by 20% because it has 5 stars. And then it can also boost itself by up to 8 times 6 because it has 6 triangles. Uh, that would be 48 plus 20% baseline. That is 68% Vampirism, right? Lifesteal. So that's straight up Lifesteal. Doesn't, the opponent cannot block that. And then your healing is also amplified by 24%. So it isn't even 60. It is not even 68. It's even more because it increased by 25. This used, this used to make your poison lifesteal. That aspect is gone. And uh, we're gonna now get the Vampiric Blade, I would say. The mana, the mana Blade, I think. Is that what it's called? Yeah, whatever, it doesn't matter. <clears throat> Let's also get inventory space. Let's also get the dagger. And I would say, I think we should reorganize a little bit. So let me reorganize a little bit. Okay, here we go. Um, I, you know what? Let's actually keep Tim outside. I think this, this, this the five empower is godlike. The difference is stealing buffs is fifty percent chance to steal buff is also really, really, really good. Let's go with stealing buffs. Honestly, let's go with stealing buffs. These are attack every three seconds. By the way, this here says that on hit gain one vampirism up to five. So this is gonna give us five vampirism, pretty much, and it heals for the flat amount for each vampiric item close by, which is this one. Oh, by the way, it should go here. And now all my weapons are affected by the stars, and also two of my weapons are affected by the triangle. So right now I'm having 36% life steal on all my weapons. And let's go. And so for the best, stealing buffs now should be valuable. Most opponents should have buffs. Here we go. This is a heat gain region. I'm gonna steal the region away. Uh, I just stole it all away. And now we also get vampirism because of the hungry blade. Very nice. Look at how much you have a level vampirism here. And this guy's gone. This guy's gone. He's gone. Very nice. Very fast. Destroyed him. We're already winning, man. This is very powerful if you get these early runs going on. And I found another mana orb. Very important. Why is it important? Well, specifically because the mana thirst. First of all, it has a 1.4 cooldown. It used to have 1.6. And stamina cost is non-existent. So, this thing says, on hit, gain 1 mana. Whenever you gain 20 mana, steal 10 life, and increase the amount of this ability by 1. So right now, if I have 10 Vampirism, this is going to steal 20 life from the opponent and heal us by that amount. And this here says, uh, first of all, it gives us mana, chance to give us mana. And also, when I, eat, when, I, when, I, when I get 3D mana, which right now I'm not spending mana on anything, so this is going to be the mana uh, outlet, I guess, we gain 12 random buffs, which might include Vampirism. So this is just gaining mana. When I hit 20, I'm going to lifesteal. And when I hit 30, I'm going to use... You see, this here says uh, gained, 20 gained. So it doesn't spend it. This here says use 30, so it uses it. Let's roll them. Let's go with even more attack speed. So I would like to pull everything one back, I would say. So you go one back, you go one back, you go one back, you go one back, and you go one back. Very nice. And this now goes in. Very, very nice. So this is still min max, the exact same it was. A nice, nice, nice roll him. And we found a Jinxor Kill up. Jinxor Kill is always a yes. The faster we attack, the better. And let's go. 5% attack speed. Uh, 5 coins. It's because it's cheap, by the way. Because it's on sale. This guy is taking buffs away from us. And he also has an artifact kit. What's going on with artifact kit, boys? We stole their vampirism. They're going to steal things from us. 
I think we should have this. They already healed. Yeah, we have five vampires and four uh, regen. Yeah, we're slowly gaining regen now. Stealing it from them, actually. And they just hit seven regen, so they just healed. That was the mistake that uh, lost us the game. If I took the region away in time, we would have won, but it's okay. Not that I... I mean, just, just hoping for the, the high roll is not how you're supposed to play this anyway. Uh, I will actually get another mana orb. I think those are very important. And I would like to get the Torquilla here, but inventory space might be more important. Can the Torquilla fit, actually? Does the Torquilla fit, then obviously inventory space is relevant. It fits here, but we're going to lose stone. Mm, I guess it also fits here. Yeah, nice. This is obviously very good. So we're going to stick with the Torquilla. If anything, the Torquilla should go one back, so it hits even more things. Even though it doesn't gain mana, it still hits at least one more banana, which I think is more valuable. And a banana and the poison thing. Yeah, I think that's more valuable. Let's also buy that. Uh, do I care about healing herb? Not anymore. Roll him into... I want to find one more vampire blade is what I would say. And one more... I guess two more... Da one more dagger? Yeah, that's it. One more dagger, one, two more vampire stones, and then one more mana thirst. Vampire blade. Let's see how this guy go. Once again, the idea is I want to hit 3D mana if possible. And uh, vampires should keep us alive. I'm stealing away in part from the opponent, so that's nice. They are a crit one stuff build because they got the leaf badge. I think we have this. I don't think they're scaling or just critting us to death. I'm getting all their buffs away. And I just hit the magic, the mana orb thing. So, yeah, we destroyed them. Easy destruction. Easy destruction. e a z -a. Nice. I think we won. Yes, we did. <laughs> Obviously, I think we won. This guy did 354 damage. I did a lot less. But we have so much more healing than them. Vampires was 300. Insane. Nocturnal Locklifter. Nocturnal Locklifter. Uh, 137. I wouldn't say that's crazy. Okay, let's go here. Uh, roll them and find even more inventory space. I don't really want to s use this. I don't care about the glowing crown. I could just get a holy spear instantly. Attack speed, I guess Torquilla should get some. So let's do something like that. Nice, that thing fires faster. Another mana orb. I do want all the mana orbs, by the way, because of how the mana thrust works. We want to be gaining a lot of mana if possible. I also would like this to happen. Yep, that's better. So now this is hitting three things. This is hitting two things. It's okay. And this is still hitting a bunch of stuff. We get the man hour, but let's go. We should be winning still. I think we're very powerful. And this is a heat buff, so we're going to start now uh, stealing heat away. Which is obviously really good for us. <coughs> and spikes for that matter. I mean, obviously Tim is carrying us through this. But it's not only Tim. It's also the build in itself is decent. <laughs> nice, we got our buffs here. And now we should no longer be losing, especially with 11 vampires. I don't know how we're going to be losing this. Nice, everyone. <laughs> Easy enough. Easy enough. <laughs> uh, I'm coughing like crazy. I think I'm dying. Anyway. Anyway. <laughs> Let's uh, get the last dagger. <laughs> Let's get mana. Energy, that is. And man, again, to be honest, <laughs> I mean, um, the fact that I'm not using the words correctly does not mean that I'm wrong about that. This is going to be hitting this and this is going to be hitting that. Actually, I think this is better as an idea. Yeah, I do prefer that. So, mana orbs are hitting most of my weapons. Get my final dagger. Uh, I would like my dagger to be in the zone there. Uh, excuse me. Yeah, that's a bit weird how this functions. Push him down. You go here, and I would like the dagger to be here, so it gets hit by the vampirism. And now I'm literally missing one mana thirst, a mana thirst that combines with a mana orb, and two vampire stones. That's it. That's literally it. Found one of them. <laughs> Found one of them. Do I want the leather armor? I think I do. Uh, but I don't have that much room right now, so first we're gonna slowly trickle down. Let's get... Let's first find two blood amulets, and the leather armor can join later. And if, if even not that, I, I might even go for the gloves of haste. Oh, that's better. Let's just get the mana blood. I mean, let's, let's, not, let's not spend money on things I don't care about. Once again, another chain we built. It really feels like we're fighting against counters today. It really feels like we're fighting against counters. This guy is uh, using their luck to gain random buffs. I'm stealing the random buffs. We almost lost all our vampires, which is making us very weak. We just got all mana buffs going on. We're still He's hitting all my vampires, man. Stop hitting the vampires. Stop hitting the vampires. Stop taking the vampires away. We lose this one. Oh, come on, man. Oh, we got another two vampires. They took it away again. Unbelievable. And we won. And we won. And we won. Okay, this guy was literally hitting vampirism only, and we still won. Easy enough with the stupid chain whip. And they even had 37 to 38 damage. Easy enough. We we ate through them. Look at how little dam oh healing. Look at how little damage we did in comparison to them. Still easy win. Get the vampirism for another bloody dagger. Uh, if anything, I would like this to be uh I guess no, that's possible. <coughs> It's not possible what I want to do. It's okay here. 
Uh, let's get another starting energy. Roll them. Uh, I don't care about any of these. And find even more inventory space, which we need. And let's go on. We should still be winning this. It's very simplistic. I, yeah. I, by the way, I'm going to play at 0 0.7 speed from here on out. Just so that we can see what's happening. This is a spikes build. So this is our anti dry metric build. Like, we are healing when we damage. They are making us take damage when we damage. So I need more and more vampirism. At some point, it's not even going to matter. I got my buffs. I have 12 vampirism. So if I get 20 mana now, I will steal like 3D life away from them. Look at the mana thirst lining up. And I'm about to get even more buffs. One fire them. Boom, even more buffs. And we won. And we won. Easy enough. 16 vampirism at the end. Mana thirst. Did the mana thirst do this job, by the way? Yeah, 183 damage. Healing. Mana thirst still 82. Very nice. I do really enjoy that this, uh, you know, the, the, how that works. Another banana. I don't think I need another banana. I think we're really good on mana. Uh, let's actually make sure, though, that we're good on mana. No, no, no. We're, we're super good on mana. I'm not spending anything. 0 0.4 per second. That's nothing. Two coins is nothing either, though. Uh, inventory space. Roll them. Uh, roll them. Uh, another banana is a no. Inventory space. Roll one more time for a coin. And let's go. Stop. Are we good here? I think we're good. This vampire blade is... Yeah, I mean, now we're gonna get another 5 vampires out of that. Yeah, I think we're good. I still believe we're good. Let's go on. Uh, obviously, I would like to get the vampire blade, but it's okay. I'm gonna be playing at 0.7, as I said, until the last fight. So, uh, this is also a vampire blade build. The difference is they have more vampirism uh, and double goobrits on vampirism. I have stealing of buffs and more utility. So, we're gonna die because the goobrits are really powerful on the vampire build. Unless I somehow survive here and turn it around, which I don't really think is a thing. We're gonna die about here is where we should be going down. Yeah. We were a bit far away from surviving. We need a couple more turns. This is useless. I don't need more daggers. I need more vampire stones. Yeah, the last dagger is gonna go in the middle here. Actually, yeah, I need... No, I just need a vampire stone. The final version is gonna be like this. And uh, like this, right? That's what the final version is gonna be looking like. So as of this very moment, this is not a thing. Roll them. That's inventory space for him start to sneak defense. Gloves of Faced, uh, I guess, for the mana thirst, I would say. I want this thing to be attacking fast. Inventory space, yes, another mana orb. Uh, this doesn't fit, though. No, it does fit for sure. You have so many one spotters and weird stuff. Yeah, this definitely fits. So you go here. You go here. Yeah, that, that, it's, it fits. That's a good spot. Where was this? I think it was here. Nice. And uh, we're gonna buy another mana orb. And let's go on. Mana is important because we gain a lot of buffs and... Oh, this is a poison build. Whenever you see dragons, you're dying, by the way. When you see dragons, you dead. You dead, boy. 35 poison is too much to handle. No, it's, it's super over. Dragons are busted. Dragons just, just free wins. Dragons are free wins. Let's go. <laughs> uh, buy one mana orb. Roll into one prism. Okay, now I'm gonna... Actually, let's buy this, and now we're gonna force vampirism from here on out. No more mana, no more nothing. Nope, no, nothing else, nothing else. Only mana. Only vampirism now. Only vampirism. Literally nothing else. I would say let's make this banana get more boost. Nothing else. Banana or bust. Uh, actually, vampirism or bust. I would like to get at least one more vampire blade to get the mana thirst, but I think the luck lifter on itself is already bust enough. Is this, uh, this is just a cheese build. They have a uh, healing, opponent healing is reduced, which is bad for us. But we're gonna be gaining more and more and more buffs every time we hit the 3D mana cap. So we're gonna get even more buffs now. They're also going with buffs, so they start doing crazy damage, though. We lose this one, too. We lose a lot of these late game fights. Uh, mana boost, that's not gonna help us. Oof. Oof, we're losing all these fights. Fair enough, though, fair enough. Roll them. Uh, roll them. A Jinx or kill and an attack speed boost. I mean, Jinx or Killer fits, but if you said you're not gonna buy any random other stuff. Yeah, but we need some stuff going on here. Let's go here, I would say. I don't know. Uh, gloves of Face number two? No. I guess in the Torkilla. Whoop. Pull him. And I found the Vampire Blade at long last. Okay, so I'm gonna sell the two Healing Herb because that's not really gonna help us in any way, shape, or form. Two regions is irrelevant. Let's get at long last the weapon. At this point, the build is done, because I am forced to uh, not be able to use anything else. So, yeah, this dagger is useless, I would say. I don't want a random dagger that doesn't do anything. Actually, it does damage and life steals, I guess. Might as well exist. Gives us mana, too, when it fires. Mana gain from here, mana gain, mana gain, mana gain. This is actually perfect. We have a lot of mana gain, so we're gonna get one last mana thirst at the very end. 
And that's going to be the build. And uh, let's see how this goes. Let's speed the game down at half speed. Ooh, this is a, a bunch of things built. This is a oh, this is a ex god we built, which actually high rolled like crazy. He got the wolf badge on a on a pyro on ranked. Yeah, this guy high rolled like super crazy on ranked. Anyway, we hit my 30 mana. We got our first set of buffs. This guy's critting us. They're also getting crazy, crazy buffs. <coughs> they got the god build, but they do not have a garlic, so I'm not gonna lose my vampirism ever. And I'm also gaining mana extremely fast, so we should not be losing life. This game is gonna be, this fight is gonna be super duper late game fight. Let's see who wins super, we just got hit for the 100 damage from the flame and we just healed at the back up. Let's see who wins, for real let's see who wins. He's scaling uh, speed extremely fast. I'm scaling vampirism through the roof. So, and I also got in power. I'm still gaining buffs, random buffs. Uh, we are, yeah, we're still gaining random buffs, and power is here. The, this guy has 600 life, so he's scaling health and speed, and the speed is a lot better than our health. Yeah, 50 vampirism. They, they're not getting poison is the main issue. Yeah, I'm healing a lot, but we lose this one. I mean, this guy had the god build. Yeah, yeah, that, that was fair, that was fair. But this 54 vampirism, I mean, 300 heat is the main issue here. I wasn't even able to steal anything away. I just I stole a little bit of bit, bit heat. I, I would have won if they did not have... Chili Peppers removing debuffs, but I mean, this is, this is the god build. This is, this is literally the god build. There is no better build than this. If you get Excalibur and the Wolf Badge on the Pyro, and then you have this for speed, and then you also have Chili Pepper plus Cheese, I mean, I, I did this build. I literally have done this build, and it's godlike. So, yeah, I have done the Pyro, um, Excalibur, Friendly Fire, Wolf Badge, Spanian Son. Yeah, how about Sift Son, man? This is literally the build I did. I think this is the best build in the game, by the way. And uh, here we can see a thousand damage dealt with this thing, a thousand, two thousand damage dealt from. They did a lot more damage than us, so I had a lot more healing than them, a lot more healing. Look at this, two thousand vampires were healing, but I was not able to maintain. At some point, you know, they took us over, especially because of the twenty-seven power. If it wasn't for the twenty-seven power thing, we had this two hundred DPS on this thing, two hundred DPS, and I was alive. Okay, when 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 we were here, I wasn't even losing life. Uh, actually, around. Here I was still losing life. Yeah, here I, I wasn't even losing life. So at this point, this thing had 100 DPS. I was maintaining 100 DPS. That was an awesome fight, by the way. The fight was legendary. Our fight's gonna be legendary. That was the meme right there. You saw it. And uh, let's push these back. And now we got the two mana thrusts is the build. Would I like this here or here? I think here is better. Actually, no. I think the mana thrusts attack faster. Yeah, 1.4. So we have two mana thrusts, 1.4, 1.4. This is actually faster because it's getting hit by the Gloves of Haste. If anything, I should be getting hit by even more gloves of face, but now nah, let's go like that and uh, let's roll into, I guess, last. No, no, just get one last Torquilla. So we get crazy mad at attack speed. Yeah, let's do that. So let's get, just get another Torquilla. And with one another gloves of face, might as well buy that too and give that to the other Torquilla. Mm, I mean, I can give it to both Torquillas. This does not fit. This is extremely stupid that this does not fit. <laughs> uh, how is that even possible? I guess we go one up because I don't care about the banana there in the corner and might as well throw that in. So we have a little bit of Emperor's been blocking. And I think that's it. So we have three Torquillas giving us crazy attack speed. We have the Vampire Blades being all connected to the Nocturnal Locklifter. Nocturnal Locklifter gives us lifesteal on my weapons. I think we're good. I think we're good. Let's see how this is gonna go. We should be surviving like crazy unless it's the most bursty build in the universe. Because as you saw previously, we were surviving. This is bursty-ish. <coughs> they do have a Obsidian Dragon. But I don't think they're gonna burst us down fast enough. Famous last words. If I can get 10 Vampirism, we're safe. And I just hit 10 Vampirism, so let's see if what I calculated is correct. Once again, uh, the moment they hit 70 heat, we're gonna get flung for 100 damage here. No, it's too late, we heal faster than what they scale. Okay, we got this, easy win. This is a win for us, for sure. So they're gonna hit us for 100, and then we're gonna heal up like crazy again. It's too late, we won. Nice, we won, we won. And I think we had the previous fight too, by the way. I just didn't have the th second Mana Thrust up and ready. Because the Mana Thrusts do a huge, are a huge difference maker, right? Because these things are my main source of damage. As they say, every 20 mana gained... First of all, every 20 mana gained, we lifesteal. And secondly, on hit, we, li we gain mana. So it's a huge difference having a Vampire Blade that has a on baseline 1.6 attack speed and having a Mana Thrust which has on baseline 1.4 attack speed and also has um, the intrinsic gain one mana. So I would have really liked if I could somehow backtrack to the previous fight with this build. Uh, I mean, you might say, yeah, Sift, but still, but Sift, <clears throat> but Sift, you just bought more items. I would say, you know what, sell the Junk to Killa, sell the Gloves of Haste. I just wanted the Manthurst. I just wanted the combined items just to recheck 
I mean, in the same vein, also, I had a Tim, which I should not have really have had, but whatever. 0 0.57 attack speed here, 0 0.68. Let's go through these at the end. We did actually win. The run was an actual full-on win. Uh, not only uh, an endless win, they didn't have healing. 600 healing on our end. Damage dealt 300, and their damage dealt was a bit higher than ours, actually. Yeah, a lot higher. 300, 300, 200, and 150. We, yeah, I mean, 259 damage from spikes. Obviously, we have so many weapons here, but still we won. Uh, how much healing from the bloody daggers, by the way? Bloody daggers, 325, very low amounts of healing from the bloody daggers. I mean, it makes sense, they were literally only connected to one vampire item, but still 50 vampires at the end. It was nice. I did enjoy this. I'm chilling, I'm really not sure about the vampire build. As you saw, it was very good at maintain, at sustain. It, uh, this thing loses against the dragons because it's extremely bursty, but anything that is slow and steady, this thing wins, I would say, at the final version of it, because we literally went toe-to-toe -to -toe with the god build, right? Once again, the god build, hopefully card has already appeared at the top right, we had that thing, you get pyro plus the um, berserker badge, right? Can I see by bad badge? Badge, what has I, what is this here? Yeah, like you go here, wolf badge with the ranger, no, with the pyro, and then you just go with a cheese, obviously, and then you just win, obviously, because uh, cheese is busted, and, um, you know, the whole idea with Excalibur is the most busted thing in the game. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed, as always, thanks for watching, and see you guys around.